As an online business owner, you're probably leaving a lot of money on the table if you're not offering a high ticket product or service. So in today's video, I'm going to break down the four main reasons why you should pivot into high ticket business if you're not already doing so. All right. So first things first, let's get this clear. What is the difference between high ticket, mid ticket, low ticket? Honestly, it's up to who you ask. But for me, anything low ticket is below $500. Anything mid ticket is $500 to about $1,000. And anything high ticket is $1,500 or greater. Okay. So it's basically how much you charge for your program or services. And and that's very important to understand because I see a lot of business owners in the space of coaching, consulting agency, offering very low ticket products or even consulting by the hour. And honestly, guys, you're not going to be able to scale your business to the levels you want to get to if you're always trading time for money or if you're charging very low and dealing with clients that you provide a massive transformation or outcome. Off. This video is kind of inspired from the many coaches I see offering a 197 product and want to make 10 to $20,000 a month. You need tons of clients to be able to do that. I mean, even then, if you're offering something at 197, that means you're probably not creating something that has that big of an impact in the market space. You're not probably helping someone accomplish a massive transformation. And if you are, you should charge more, right? So yeah, I'm the guy telling you you're probably not charging as much as you could be for your product or service. So I'm going to talk about four major topics here. And the next topic I'm going to talk about is mindset. But before we get into the mindset side of things, which is far more important than anything else, I'm going to tell you right now, high ticket coaching is going to be the best thing or consulting agency whatever you want to do, as long as you're offering a high ticket product or service, it's going to be the best thing you ever do in your business. You just need to know how to execute it properly. Now we can pivot over to the mindset side of things. I get so many times when I talk to people about going to high ticket business, they tell me, well, Alex, I don't know how to charge that much or people don't have money. So I charge low because people can't afford my higher end services. And I know everyone watching this video deep down inside know that they can charge somewhere between two and $6,000 or even more for what they have to offer, but they feel like it's so much easier to try to collect some type of cash than no cash at all. I'm here to tell you it's much harder to sell a whole bunch of 197s than it is to sell a few $2,000, $3,000 programs or services, believe it or not. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do, fitness, career coaching, make money online, social media, mindset, love and relationships, doesn't matter what you do, there is a high ticket offer in everyone and it starts up here in your mindset. Some fundamental things to understand, guys, people will always pay for your product or service if the outcome come or the transformation is worth it. And the biggest thing to understand, no one wants to be on the end of a losing deal. So the best way to really make sure that you're giving people something worth two, three, four thousand dollar transformation is really highlighting that massive pain in your product or service and showing people how you can bring them from hell to heaven. I actually brought this up in my thesis, the accelerator thesis. It's about a 40 minute training that I put together, breaking down the best client acquisition system for growing online as a coach, consultant, agency owner. So after watching this video, go ahead and check that video video on my YouTube channel, it's going to be the best training you ever watch. But it's so important to make very clear how you're going to get someone from point A, point B, in the easiest, most time efficient, cost efficient way possible. It doesn't matter what you offer. If you can nail that down, I promise you, you have a two to $6,000 program or service in your back pocket that you can start selling, right? So it all comes down to mindset and confidence. And I was selling two, $3,000 products and services before I even had massive social proof and, and proof of concept. But I was really good at getting people to understand the issues that they're facing now, where they want to get to and how I can help bridge that gap in the most time efficient way possible, right? People really want to save time, make more money, build better relationships, feel happier. If you can really tie in your program to those kind of core elements, you have a, a high ticket product or service ready to sell. Now we can actually talk about how to do this. So for me, I teach a lot of my clients how to, you know, first, if you're launching a product for the first time, how to build that proof of concept and get that first client through the door by offering something around 250 to $500, right? This is normally one-on-one -on -one coaching. Maybe you work with someone in a 30 to 60 day window, either coaching agency, whatever service or offer you provide, you're working with someone in a 30 to 60 day window to solve a problem that they've been facing, right? And you can offer a call a week and you're trying to offer that product or service in that window with a clear outcome in mind. You're not just consulting, right? For the consultants out there, you can offer a high-end consulting service in charge, but what most people really want is a direct outcome. They're working towards something. That's how you can charge the big bucks because it's like, I'm making $0 a month right now, and this person is gonna help me go from zero to $50,000. Those business coaches are gonna make way more money than the business consultants that you just get a hourly charge anytime someone has a question or concern, and there's no real direction. They're just coming to you for small things here, small things there. So start off by charging cheap. Once you build proof of concept, you got a few case studies, that's going to also help you charge more money because you've built proof of concept. You know the step-by-step -step process it takes to get that person from point A to 
point B, then you want to really focus on improving that mechanism. However, you help that person go from point A to point B, is there a way you can get them that end result in a faster, better, cheaper way, right? When you went through that 30 to 60 days, did you figure out things that could probably shortcut this process and get them maybe losing more weight sooner, maybe getting that dream job that they want sooner, maybe growing more social media followers sooner, right? Whatever it is that you, you offer, could there be a way to shortcut that? No. Okay. That's fine. But you got them that end goal. Can you guarantee that end goal every single time you can? Okay. Boom. Now you can charge more upfront and put in some type of guarantee or some type of money back guarantee or extension of program guarantee in your program where you can pretty much guarantee results for your clients. When you can guarantee results for your clients, that's when you take your business to the next level. And not everyone can do that. Not everyone has an offer or service that they can guarantee an outcome. That's fine. But you want to at least promise a high probability of getting that end result, because again, no one wants to put a bunch of time and money into something without a high probability of it working and coming out on the other end successful. Okay, that's pretty big. So let's talk about the logistics of offering a high ticket product or service. If you want to get to $10,000 a month, that's only like five $2,000 clients, right? That's kind of how you look at it. It's like, okay, I only need five coaching clients or consulting clients or agency clients a month to get to that five figure a month goal. When you're offering something at 197, it's going to take heck more ton of people to get through the door. And now you have more time and effort on your plate by charging high ticket. We get to work with dream clients, clients that we love working with. We get to make more money. Theoretically, you're actually working less because there's less client management because there's less clients to work with, but they're paying us more money. So we have a smaller pool of people to manage and a a higher upside and growth potential in our business. Very, very important there, right? That you offer a high ticket service because you can work with literally a handful of people. You can even offer for my agency owners out there, a retainer where you're working with someone each month, they're paying you $2,000 a month, monthly reoccurring revenue. And now you're just making money pretty much passively. You're not having to recruit any more energy, time or resources to get new clients. You're working with the same dream clients. We have clients that we enrolled for a 90 day window and they're still working with us four or five months later because they really got a good transformation and we keep promising them new transformations every single time, right? We had one client that came to us wanting to learn how to get their business to 10 K a month. We helped them get to 10 K a month in 90 days in less than 90 days. Now they wanted help with team management, getting certain team members in place to help them delegate their time. We helped them do that. We worked with that person for an additional 90 days, help them source new team members. Then they wanted to get to 50 K a month. And then we worked with them an additional 90 days to get them to that 50 K a month. So it's like you're bringing your clients along the journey and you can't really do that at scale and really focus on one client if you're charging very low and you expect to hit these five figure months, right? It's just not going to happen. So that's kind of the big thing there. The end goal for everyone, my dream scenario for everyone is to have a handful of dream clients that they work with that continue to pay them more money. Some clients will fall off. That's totally fine. But recruiting new or getting new clients and rolling new clients into your program service, whatever should be easy because it's like you're speaking to such a clear target market and person with a clear transformation that they value what you have to offer. To be totally transparent with you, if you're offering 197 and you have people coming in and I keep using the number 197. It could be 297, it could be 500, it could be $600 a month. It doesn't matter what you charge. If it's not up there in the four figures, you should probably be working to get there. Now, kind of looping back to mindset just for a little bit. I hear a lot of people say, Alex, well, I don't know if I can offer a product or service at price point. The thing I tell people is you should be improving your craft. You're should, you should be striving to be able to charge something of that magnitude because that's how you scale a business and, and do it in the most efficient, profitable way possible. So if you feel like your knowledge and expertise isn't there yet, one, it might just be a limiting belief. In most cases, I find that most clients just have limiting beliefs. They don't realize that they have a two to $5,000 product or service sitting in front of them. They know all that information that people will pay. They just don't know how to find those people that are willing to pay. But if that's the case and you genuinely just feel like you don't have enough knowledge or expertise, go back into the woodworks and learn how you can get to that next level, right? You should be striving and working towards getting to that point where you can confidently charge that. And I'll be fully transparent with you guys. Most people that are in the coaching space, consulting space, agency space, you have a product or service that you can put out there that is worth the price point that you want to charge two, six, 8,000, you can charge that for your program to have people work with you for four, six months, paying you eight to 10 K, right? You can get up to the high, high four to five figures in your product or service. And even just getting paid, you know, $2,500 a month or $2,500 per client is amazing. You get a few of those, you get four or five clients a month. You're doing really good. Multiple five figures a month in your business with only four to five clients. That's just insane. So think about the resource output. It, it's much lower. You don't have to spend as much on paid ads, spend as much time with organic marketing or hold outreach or whatever your lead generation system 
system is. Again, if you want to improve your lead generation system and get better clients for the most efficient way possible, th check out the Accelerated Thesis. By far one of my best trainings I've ever put together. It's on my YouTube channel. Go over and watch that after this video. But if you want dream clients, people that look forward to working with you and you look forward to waking up every day in your business, working with amazing clients, you have to charge more. And just think about this. I'll leave you with this last note here. If someone's willing to pay you two, three, four thousand, five thousand, eight thousand dollars to work with you, don't you think those are going to be some of the best clients in the world? People that are going to get the best case studies and just be amazing clients that you just love to work with. Think about the clients at the lower end that are paying you 197, 397 to work with you. They barely show up to your calls, they're barely showing up. They're barely putting in any work. They're not even falling through the program. A lot of them drop off. People are probably asking for refunds because there's not that much attachment between the dollars that they spend and the outcome that they are looking for. To them, it's like, ah, I just get a refund or this isn't that that I didn't lose that much money spending low end product. But the people that pay the higher end products, they are looking for that transformation. Those are going to be the people that work hard and put in the time and effort. And don't be afraid to ask for that higher end product or charge that because as long as you make the transformation clear to them and that's something they desire and need, they'll pay. You. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like this video. And if you guys, if you're looking to start or scale an online coaching business and you're serious about taking this to the next level, feel free to click the link in the description and book a time to speak with our team. We can do a live demo call, walk you through the system and strategies we use to scale our business. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.